Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace. Rest whenever you need to. And feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. Let's begin on our backs. We can come into a Shavasana type position. Go ahead and spread out. And either close your eyes or take a soft gaze. Begin to slow down your breath. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. Let's begin by sliding arms overhead. Stretch out long through your fingers and toes. And then interlace your fingers and press out through your palms. Flex your feet, reaching through the heels of your hands, the heels of your feet. And then release and bring your right knee to your chest. Give that knee a good squeeze in. And then straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling, holding somewhere behind your leg. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times both directions. And then bend your knee back in. Open your knee out to the right. Straighten part way or all the way out to the side, supporting your leg in the way that it makes sense for you. Keep the left leg grounded. Keep the shoulders dropped, face relaxed. And then release, bend your knee and bring it all the way across for a spinal twist. Open out through the right arm. Let your knee and shoulder reach away from one another. And then staying in your twist, try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. Letting your fingers and toes reach away from one another. And then release, roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock with your knees, massaging your lower back and sacrum into the floor. And then grab hold of just the left knee. Drop your right leg long. Squeeze your left knee in. Straighten your left leg up. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times both directions. And then bend your knee back and open your knee out to the left and straighten part way or all the way out to the side. Grounding down through the back of your right leg now. And then release, bend your knee and bring it all the way across. Spinal twist, first with a bent knee. And then try straightening the left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal. Release, roll back onto your back. 
Bring both knees in, again, a little circle, the rock. And then make your way up to sitting. Let's come into a comfortable cross leg position. If you have something you want to sit up on, you can grab it. And then take the right arm up, bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow and take it back. As you do this, drop the ribs, draw the belly in. Feel free to move around or explore within the pose. And then release, right arm up, open it out and take it across, hook with the other arm, hugging it in as close as you can. And as you do this, draw back through your right shoulder so you're still square across your chest, still sitting nice and tall. And let's release, arm out. Rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around behind your back so back of your hand is at your waist. Interlace fingers at your waist, pull your knuckles around towards the front, and then elbows go towards one another. Circle your right shoulder. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back, open up the heart, and then fold any amount. So this might be just dropping your head or could be coming part way or all the way towards the floor. And then release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees, drop your chin. And then roll your way back up. Let's recross the legs so the other leg is in front or on top. We'll take the left arm up, bend it straight back on itself. Grab your left arm and take it back, dropping the ribs. Trying to even out all four sides of the torso. And then release arm up, open it out, take it across. Hook with the other arm, hugging it in nice and close. Arm out, rotate thumb to point down, wrap it around. This time when you go to interlace fingers, try the other thumb on top. Elbows go towards one another, and then circle your left shoulder. Let's reach both arms back, open up the chest, and then fold. Whatever amount works for your body. You don't need to have more mobility than you have. Just going to your limits where they are now. And then release, come up, hands to knees, round back. <sighs> Roll your way back up and let's bring the feet to the floor. Hip width apart. Try and have your feet and knees parallel. And then shift your hands to the floor in front of your feet. Take a little rock front to back. So as you rock your weight forward, you can look for a stretch through the toes. As you rock back, getting into your calves, ankles, Achilles tendon. Let's go back and forth a couple times. And then drop the heels, lift the hips. And let's come to hang in ragdoll. Mm, you can bend your knees a little or a lot. Take a sway or shake out.
and then plant your hands near the front of the mat. Step back into a high push-up position. We'll hold this for several breaths. If this does not work for you to be on your wrists, you could do this on your forearms instead. And in either position, you could drop your knees to make it less intense. Going towards a straight long line, either from your head to your heels or your head to your knees. One more deep breath here. And let's lower all the way down. Come into a back bend, and this could be as small or big as you like. Maybe a little baby cobra or forearms on the floor for sphinx. If you want to come higher, you're welcome to. See how this feels for you right now. When you're ready, come back to downward facing dog. You can bend one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor, waking up the backs of the legs. From down dog, let's come into a pigeon pose, right side. Slide the right knee forward. Scoot back through the left leg, helping the hips get as low as they'll go. If you want to add any support, something under your hips or chest or forehead, go ahead and do that. Releasing towards the floor. upper body back up. If you have something under your right hip, move it out of your waist so that you can lean to the right. And let's slide the left knee forward, coming into a half hero on the left side. So for half hero, the left knee points straight ahead, left toes point straight back. You may need to roll your calf out of your way. And if this is too tight, you can make it less tight by sitting up on something. Put a little lift under the hips. If it's the ankle that's bothering you, you could Stick a little padding under your ankle. Set up whatever props are useful for you, and then we're going to lean back to get into the left quad. You can stay on your hands or explore coming lower, maybe just to the right elbow or both elbows. Some people may want to come all the way down. Keep lengthening the lower back by tucking the tail. And then to release, let's lean to the right, take the pressure off that left leg, and give a little rub to the knee or ankle, working out any tightness from that side. And we'll make our way back to down dog. Feel free to take any movement as you go to down dog. If you want to take a vinyasa, high to low push up, up dog, or cobra, you're welcome to. You could also move in some other way. Feel whatever you are choosing to do.
from down dog. Bring your left knee forward, setting up for a pigeon on the other side. You might adjust the angle of the front leg. You might set up some props for yourself. <sighs> Releasing towards the floor. Bring the upper body back up. Take your time. If you have something under your hip, move it out of your way so that you can lean to the left. This time, bring the right knee forward. And you might move your calf muscle out of the way. You might set up some support for yourself, any padding under your ankle or a little lift under your hips. Lean back, tuck the tail. And feel free to stay upright or come lower. And at any point, you might change your mind. So you're adjusting to stay at your edge, not beyond it. You can always go lower. You can always come higher. Keep directing the stretch from the hip to the knee, tucking the tailbone, lengthening out. release, let's lean to the left, straighten that right leg out, give a little rub to the knee or ankle, and then we'll straighten both legs out, getting set up for a seated forward fold. If you want to have a little lift under your hips, go ahead and put something under there to help get the pelvis more upright. You can lean forward and either grab the feet or Put a strap or something like a strap around the feet or go back to having hands on the floor so your hands are supporting you as you lengthen and fold. Inhale to look up. Exhale, release. Let's bring the soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana, and grab your toes or ankles with that grip. Lengthen and fold. Folding just enough so you're at your edge. Come back up. Let's come onto our backs. You can bring your knees to your chest. 
perfect little circle or rock with your knees. And I'm going to suggest a supported bridge to wind things down. If there's a different way that you want to wind things down, you're welcome to do what feels right for you. If you're going to join me in supported bridge, you can place a block or whatever you have under your sacrum. And this could be high or low, so find a height that works for you. If the first thing you're trying doesn't seem to work, try something else. Make sure the block isn't at your lower back. It's lower than that. Let the hips rest down onto your block. And you're welcome to keep your feet on the floor the whole time. Or explore any other leg position. You might bring knees to chest or take both legs up in the air. At any point, if you want to adjust the placement or height of your block, feel free to do that. <sighs> Keep letting go into the position you're in. You're welcome to stay where you are longer. If where you are is relaxed enough, it might even be a good final resting pose. If you're ready to come out of it, you can do so on your own time. Checking in with your body. Is there any counter stretch or next pose that would feel good for you? I'm going to suggest happy baby, but could be anything. For the next couple moments, just practice asking, what do you feel like doing right now? Letting your body decide for you. <sighs> if you're not getting a clear answer, you can just start getting ready for your final resting pose, Shavasana. If you want to adjust your clothing or grab any props to be more comfortable or do a little self-massage, take your time. Eventually settle into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Allowing the weight of your body to release.
Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again. And let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles. Eventually stretch out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. And bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for your support in whatever ways you're able to do that. And I very much appreciate the financial contributions some of you have been sharing with me. Venmo, PayPal, Patreon, checks are all very much appreciated. Um, if you're not able to contribute financially, sharing what I do, subscribing to my YouTube channel, liking my Facebook page are all ways that help get the word out about these offerings. So thank you so much.